pretty lights Look me in the face Tell me that you love me Even if it's fake Cause I don't fucking care What's going on everyone my name is VisionX and welcome back to a brand new video guys today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to live stream to YouTube in 2020 using Streamlabs OBS so without further ado guys go ahead and jump right into this video so the first thing you guys want to do is just go ahead and download this software it's called Streamlabs OBS guys it is free I'll try to link it in the description below for you guys so once you download it and open it up for the first time you can go ahead and connect your YouTube account and don't worry guys it's not gonna steal your information or anything like that they're just trying to find out which YouTube account you'll be live streaming to so just go ahead and sign in and once you guys sign in you should get a black screen right here and no worry guys once we start adding some scenes and some sources we'll start to light things up so the first thing you guys want to do is just go ahead and log into your YouTube account like I said guys and come over here to where it says scene and hit this little plus button right here where it says add new scene this should pop up right here what you guys want to do is go ahead and title this whatever you want and I'm gonna title this T for the sake of this video and that is it so it's still black right now guys so the next thing you guys want to do is just start adding some sources so I'm I'm gonna add a source right here and I'm actually gonna add the game gameplay source so I'm gonna add display capture right here and this will capture whichever game I decide to play so I'm gonna click add new source instead hit display capture I'm just gonna title this gameplay title that gameplay and hit add source just go ahead and hit that and you guys are done so once you guys do that it should be able to start it should start looking something like this right here guys and that is when we're just gonna add a couple more stuff so you can get your live stream going so that is the first thing so this right here what this will do guys will actually capture your gameplay so if you have was supposed to pull up a game right now on this window it will start to capture that game right there so but what you guys can actually do as well as add use game capture most people does use this but I use this play capture because it does work best for me I don't know I use less processor from my PC so it kind of go easy on my PC which is why I use this one so this one is more dedicated if you guys click on this right here you could just capture a specific window or capture a specific game when you pull it up you guys can do that I normally just do display capture it doesn't really matter which one you do both of them works just fine so once you guys add your gameplay the next thing you guys want to do is just go ahead and add a face cam guys but most people don't actually use face cams for their streams which you guys definitely should but if you guys were supposed to using we're using a face cam just come over here where it says video capture device guys and click it and just select the face cam that you guys will be using for your video and boom that is all you got to do for face cam guys and that is it so once you guys add your face cam there's other there's obviously some other cool stuff we can add to make your stream pop even more and it's as simple as that guys just come over here and add the plus uh, click the plus button to add another source and just click where it says alert box guys so now alert box is basically just gonna alert you when somebody subscribe when somebody follow you or anything like that if somebody donates so just go ahead and click that click add source guys and just go ahead and I'm gonna click add new source instead since I already have one just go ahead and click on that go ahead and check all of these guys you can only check subscribers if you want depending on what you want your thing to show up for so I click all of them I don't care I come over here where it says layout make sure you click on this one guys so it doesn't appear over anything that's on your screen for example if you guys have any kind of text or anything it doesn't block it out it just shows up transparent which is what you want to come up on your stream so just make sure you click on this one check all of these or whichever one you want and you can actually change the, the delay you can actually change the time that it shows up you can change the height you can change a lot of stuff so that is how you add an alert box I'm gonna test this guys for you right now just go ahead and click test widget and I'm gonna click for a subscriber and as you guys can see right there it's gonna play a nice little sound and show this nice little animation obviously you guys can change this in the store they have some more free ones they have some more paid ones that you guys can play around with and change you can obviously resize it put it wherever you guys want it to show up on your live stream I just click it in the middle in the middle and for the sake of this video as well so once you guys have your alert box you have your gameplay and your face cam if you guys are gonna add that you guys will be fine and ready to live stream so all you guys would have to do now is go ahead and hit the go live button and you'll actually be able to live stream but before you guys do that I'm gonna show you guys a couple of settings that you can use to help your stream less laggy and be better for your viewers sir so before I actually jump into that let me go ahead and discuss this audio over here with you guys so for the audio you just want to go ahead and click right here and just go ahead and make sure you click properties and come over here make sure the first one is set to default so this will capture your game audio you know your computer's audio so you just make sure this one is set to default all the time so you can uh, uh, capture that audio 
and for this one is where you want to select your microphone so just come over here to properties guys and select whichever microphone if you guys are using a custom microphone just select whichever one it is for in my case i would select the blue yeti but since i have it running through another software to help my voice sound better to, towards you guys i click the voice meter application that is a really good software to help your audio really pop a little bit more if you guys want to know about that leave it in the comment section below so i would select this and as you guys can see it is moving because i'm talking to the microphone right now and yeah if you guys were supposed to select your microphone yours would start moving as well and for the alert box you can also turn the audio down because as you guys can see it was probably pretty loud when it showed up up the first time you guys can actually turn that down up whichever however you guys want it so i normally just turn my next this desktop audio i don't know why i can't speak but i normally turn it to negative 13 i keep my audio on max right here and yeah that is it that is all i do for audio that is all you really need to do now let's go ahead and hop over settings and me give you guys some good settings to make sure you, your stream isn't laggy and your viewers can see you nice and nice and some hd quality so just come over here towards the stream guys and just connect your account like i said in the beginning just connect your account you're not going to steal your information and just come over to where it says output guys for output you're going to have two sections for recordings and you have for streaming as well so if you guys are recording this is what you guys will have to look at but since we're doing a streaming tutorial right here we'll actually just click the streaming one so for your bit rate guys your video bit rate this is actually really important this is also dependent on a lot of factors and mostly on your internet if you guys do have good internet with a good pc you guys could put this at five thousand now five thousand will give you crispy quality and if you guys have the nice internet appear with that that will actually be really good because then you won't be getting any lag on your video or anything when your viewers are watching your stream so you can put this up to five thousand if you have a really good computer and a really good internet so never go over six thousand guys make sure it stays under six thousand somewhere between five thousand I highly suggest you guys put it between four thousand and 4,500 like I have it right now. Just don't go over 6,000. Uh, I say just put it at 4,500. Even if you guys have good uh, internet and stuff like that. Because that will make sure that your viewers are able to watch you. And you know you're not putting too much pressure on your computer. So that is what i recommend you guys put that but if you guys are more on the low end side of a pc you guys can actually put it to like 2500 you will still get some you know understandable quality and you know your viewers will still be able to see you and your pc will be able to run that perfectly so if you guys have a low pc put this down a little bit if you guys have a high one put it up but just don't go over 6000 and for your encoder just put uh the hardware nvenc now this is because i have an nvidia graphics card that some people don't have an nvidia graphics card but if you don't just go ahead and si select software x64 i believe what it's called i can't change the settings now because you know i'm recording with the same software but just go ahead and change this one to software x64 if you guys don't have a graphics card you know for example you're using the windows onboard graphics you guys could change that to software x3 but if you guys have a dedicated graphics card it should give you an option a second option just go ahead and select that one so right here your audio bit rate you want to change this to 160 i believe this is default don't go don't play around with that and over here where it says relay buffer just make sure this is set to zero as well so that is basically it for your output let's go ahead and jump on over to video guys and for video since I'm using a 2k monitor it will say 2560 by 1440 but this might say 1080p for you guys regardless I normally just scale mine down to 1080p anyway so if you guys have a 1080p monitor you can scale it down to 1080p if you guys want you can actually scale it down to 720p right here to give you better performance and quality quality but 720p isn't really good you know nobody really want to watch a stream in 720 these days so i say just leave it at 1080p and make sure this one is on public i don't know how to say this word i always mess it up so i'm just gonna you know just copy this one there's a couple other options but i found that this one works the best and i have tested them in multiple scenarios so let's go ahead and select common fps values right here and put your fps to 60. this is also important because you don't want to be streaming in 30 fps or anything lower than that you know it's 2020 you guys make sure you want to have a 60 fps stream with a 1080p quality so just go ahead and copy these settings right here like i said the top one might be different for you because you might just have a 1080p monitor but same thing just scale it down to 1080p or 1080p to 1080p it doesn't really matter so once you guys are done that come over here to your advanced tab guys and just scroll all the way down here and this is actually really important this is what's going to stop your delay towards from for example whenever you guys say something on your stream and when your viewers are able to hear 
hear you this is really important this actually caught me when i first started streaming because i didn't know about this so make sure you guys set your stream delay to zero guys go ahead and set this to zero this is really important this is what gonna make your viewers you're gonna be able to interact better with your viewers if you have this at zero because when they say something when they comment you'll be able to see and when you talk they'll be able to instantly hear you so just set it to zero you will never have like a, a zero instantly zero uh stream delay but you know the lower you put it the better it's gonna be so make sure this is set to zero also this one where it says automatically reconnect retry delay set that to zero as well i believe this 20 right here is default just go ahead and let that stay that doesn't really matter and that is it guys that is it for streaming settings just make sure these two are at zero guys these are like the most important thing in this step or you're gonna have a really bad stream like you know it could say 30 seconds then when you say something your viewer is gonna take like 30 seconds to hear you so just make sure these two are set to zero and that is really it that you have to do in order to like you know save your streams or uh, your for your stream quality and stuff like that that is it just hit done once you guys finish you guys can actually hit the go live button go ahead and put your title in put your uh, description in and just go ahead and hit confirm and go live and you guys will be live streaming you know hope to see a lot of live stream from you guys so that is basically it for this video if you guys didn't understand anything or you guys kind of got lost in the video go ahead and leave it in the comment section below and i will try to help you guys to the best of my knowledge so go ahead and drop a like on this video if you guys enjoy subscribe if you guys are new we're almost there to 800 subscribers guy guys i really do appreciate all of it so just go ahead and drop a like if you guys enjoyed the video subscribe if you're new and i will catch you guys in my next video peace out